How's it everyone? Welcome back to my channel Open Court. I'm Kent and today we're doing another hybrid experiment. So on this experiment we are taking a look at the Head Lynx Tour paired with the Prince Lightning Pro. Let's check it out. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you would know that the Head Lynx Tour is currently my favorite polyester string on the market because it's very crisp, it has decent power, good spin, maintains tension well, and it's on the slightly stiffer side, which I like because it gives me that good impact response, but it also has good dwell time for good feel. I was originally planning to pair the Lynx Tour with the Head Velocity MLT because this used to be my favorite multi-filament, but I did a video recently comparing the Prince Lightning Pro against the Velocity MLT and I came to the conclusion that the Lightning Pro plays a little bit stiffer and a little bit more crisp which is what I like. So the Lightning Pro has replaced the Velocity MLT as my current favorite multi-filament string. So that's why I decided to try this setup between the Headlinks Tour and the Prince Lightning Pro. Both are very crisp so I'm looking for that feel. So as for my string setup, I got the Head Lynx Tour and the Prince Lightning Pro strung up in my Head Graphene 360 Speed Pro. This is one of my favorite rackets. It might still be my current racket of choice. And I got the Head Lynx Tour in the mains at 52 pounds and I got the Prince Lightning Pro in the crosses at 50 pounds. Usually, in most cases, people will string the softer nylon string at a higher tension but I like to string the cross string a couple pounds lower than the mains no matter what because that allows the mains to slide and snap back a little bit more. So what am I looking for with this hybrid? Well I'm looking for the crisp response. Usually if you put nylon with poly it mutes out that crispness from the poly. I don't tend to really like that which is why I decided to put this crisp poly in the crosses to see if it'll retain that uh, crisp feel. What I'm worried about though is that the Prince Lightning Pro is not going to allow the Lynx Tour to slide as much that might impact the uh, snapback and the spin potential. So the only way I'm going to find out is if I play with this. So without further ado, let's get on the court and let's test out this hybrid experiment of the Lynx Tour and Lightning Pro. Okay, so my first impressions with this Head Lynx Tour Prince Lightning Pro Hybrid were that this setup did indeed play a lot more crisp and responsive than other poly multi hybrids I've tried in the past. That said, it is nowhere near as firm and crisp as a full bed of Lynx Tour, which is obviously no surprise. But I was still able to feel the ball sitting on the strings, which helped for my aggressive game because I like to feel where the ball is contacting my strings. This allows me to place my shots more accurately because I have more feel for the court. This hybrid setup does lack a bit of control though and that comes from the lower spin potential. One of the things I was worried about coming into this playtest proved to be true. The Prince Lightning Pro in the cross does not allow the Lynx Tour mains to slide and snap back very well. I did not get great topspin on my aggressive forehand swings and that led to me flying a lot of shots long. I have noticed a pattern recently whenever I use hybrids. I tend to enjoy sharply shaped strings when I use a full bed of poly, but when it comes to hybrid, it seems no matter what kind of multi-filament I put in the crosses, shaped polys don't slide well on them. I have come to realize that when I use poly multi-hybrids with the multi in the cross, I like round and slick polys in the mains better. My kick serve suffered most from the lack of spin. Whenever I exaggerated my pronation to swing more up and out, the Lynx Tour didn't snap back and create that diving serve that lands just inside the lines. I hit many kick serves past the service line that otherwise would have landed in if I was using a full bed of poly. I even think a full bed of multi might get better spin potential. Most people think full bed of multi filament has lower spin potential than full beds of poly and that is true for the most part. However, I've noticed that full bed multi provides good spin generation when freshly strung. That is because there isn't any fraying yet and the multi is more elastic so it stretches upon contact and quickly snaps back into place to create ball rotation. The Lynx Tour in the mains doesn't have that same kind of elasticity so it doesn't snap back well on the multi. 
One thing that was a noticeable positive though was the power level. The Lightning Pro isn't the softest multi I've tried, so the power level isn't at the level of Biphase or NRG Squared, but this hybrid setup still allowed me to hit some bomb first serves. Flat serves or flat slice hybrid serves were my best serves with this setup, and if I struck it clean, the response was so satisfying because I got that pop sensation, and I pretty much knew instantly if my flat serve was going in before it even reached the net. The Speed Pro with its 18x20 pattern isn't great for serving in my opinion, so this hybrid setup unlocked a little more pace which made winning my service games a bit easier. My two-handed backhand is not my fastest shot, but what it lacks in pace, it makes up for in consistency. But the Lynx Tour Lightning Pro Hybrid added a bit more power than usual and that allowed me to hit more penetrating backhands from deep behind the baseline. The pop sensation when I really rotated my waist and struck the center was super satisfying. The ball rests on the strings just long enough for me to feel it, but it flies off before it loses any kinetic energy. The poly mains and tighter pattern gave me good directional control, and I could control the flow of the point by pushing my opponent left and right. Overall, I think I like this hybrid setup better at net than from the baseline. I don't require much help at net, but I appreciated the slight boost in power because my punch volleys had a little extra sauce. Also, the detriments I experienced on my ground strokes were virtually non-existent on volleys. The lack of control and spin on full ground strokes didn't transpire on aggressive volleys because my swing is shorter. Plus, the crisp response allowed me to hit my angles and drop shots with relative ease. So although I like this setup better at net, I personally don't really need much help on volleys. My ground stroke game needs all the help it can get, so for me, this is not a hybrid setup that is ideal for my game. Most people who use hybrids like the firm and controlled response of polys, but can't handle the harshness of a full bed. Unfortunately, I don't think this particular hybrid will be comfortable enough for most people who have arm issues. The Lightning Pro is on the firmer side for multis, so if you want something softer, you're better off trying a hybrid with Head Velocity MLT or even Technifiber Biphase, which is one of the softest multis on the market. I didn't experience any issues with tension maintenance or durability with this hybrid. The Lightning Pro didn't fray as much as some other nylon strings, although I did notice some of the outer ribbons coming unraveled. This didn't affect the spin potential though mostly because there wasn't much to begin with, but if you're worried about the poly mains shaving away the crosses, this setup is on the more durable side. Both the Lynx Tour and Lightning Pro retain tension very well for strings in their class, so I had no issues with tension maintenance and the string bed remained fairly consistent from start to finish. So who is the Head Lynx Tour Prince Lightning Pro Hybrid setup for? It's for players who like the crisp response of Lynx Tour or other similar polys, but want something a little softer and more forgiving. But it's also for players who want a hybrid setup that doesn't mute the response of the poly too much. The Lightning Pro is much more responsive than most nylon multifilaments I've tried, so it complements the Lynx Tour well. The only real issue is the lack of snapback and spin. If you're a flatter hitter, this setup is more suited for you than for someone who swings more vertically. So what do you guys think about this setup? What is your favorite hybrid setup? Share your thoughts in the comment below and give me suggestions for hybrids you think will play well and I would be more than happy to give them a try. Thank you for watching this hybrid experiment video between the Head Lynx Tour and the Prince Lightning Pro right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.